portfolio assessment. The clinical use of a portfolio for, for assessment process purpose sorry, is a response to changes in medical education, including the emphasis on professionalism and the need to give students more responsibility for their own learning. Learning objectives. What is a portfolio? Why portfolio? Advantages of portfolio as an assessment tool. Implementing portfolio assessment in practice. Now what is a portfolio? A portfolio is a collection of evidence demonstrating that learning has taken place. It is cumulative in sense that its contents were collected over a period of time rather than the snapshot view obtained with the traditional examination. Portfolios has, have been used in the arts for many years and now have a major impact as an assessment tool in medicine and other health healthcare professions. Important to appreciate that the portfolio is different from logbook. In the portfolio, the learner's experiences and reflections are recorded, recorded to, together with a description of the further learning that has resulted. The portfolio is likely to contain both quantitative graded evidence as well as qualitative descriptions. Students actively collect and select materials for their portfolio, which will provide the examiner with evidence of their learning. Portfolio may include evidence of the practical procedures carried out by the student video record of their clinical experiences, evaluations of their performance in written assessments, or reports for clinic, clinician on the student's clinical attachments, multi-source feedback from nurses, other members of healthcare team, and patients may be included. Why portfolio? In 1970s, there was a switch of emphasis from an assessment of students' knowledge to an assessment of their clinical skills. For example, history taking, physical examination, and practical procedures. Tools such as the objective structures, clinical examination, or ski were developed for this purpose. <coughs> the more recent move to outcome-based education with an emphasis on learning outcomes such as attitude, professionalism, reflection, and self-assessment created the need for a tool that provided a valid assessment in these areas. There was a need too for an assessment tool that contracted a reductional approach to assessment and which would provide more holistic and overall assessment of students' competence. Advantages of portfolio as an assessment tool. Portfolio can be used to assess outcomes and competencies where other tools have been less successful. Portfolios include evidence collected over a period of time and provide an overall and holistic sorry, view of a student's competence. 
Also, portfolios can include a range of quantitative and qualitative evidence, evidence that support the examiner in making a comprehensive and reliable interpretation of the student's achievements. Portfolios present represent a personalized approach to assessment that focus more on what individual students achieve rather than on scheme. Portfolio is a powerful tool for both learning and assessment. During the course of studies, the portfolio focuses the student's attention on the learning outcomes expected and integrates learning and assessment. In the later years, the student's reflection on the basic sciences relevant to documented patient encounter reinforced the application of basic science to clinical practice. The portfolio reinforced student-centered approach to the curriculum with students being given greater responsibility for their own learning. Implanting portfolio assessment in practice. First, define the purpose whether it is to be used for summative or formative decisions and how it relates to other elements in the assessment process. Second, determine the competencies to be assessed to ensure that all of the expected learning outcomes are assessed. Three, define the portfolio contents. Evidence should be included in the portfolio that demonstrate a student's achievement of the learning outcome to be assessed. Students should be given guideline about the type of evidence that is acceptable, but there should be a certain amount of freedom of choice. Examples of the type of evidence that might be included are record of procedures carried out by the student, annotated details of patient encounters with details of how they contributed to the student's achievement of the learning outcomes, video records of the student's interaction with patients, evaluation of the student during clinical clerk, by members of the healthcare team, including nurses and patients. Results of the patient's performance in formal assessment, like OSCE, written assessment. Develop a making system for each of the learning outcomes to be assessed with the portfolio Specific criteria should be set out and a global rating used for the achievement of each outcome. For example, the mark four indicate excellent, distinguished, or superior. Mark three means satisfactory, adequate, or competent. The mark two means minimal, borderline, or marginal, while mark one indicates unsatisfactory or inadequate. Select and train the examiners. Several assessors should review each portfolio with an assessment committee taking a final decision. The examiners should include a range of staff from the basic science and clinical medicine. Examiners with less experience can be paired with more senior examiners. The training of examiners is essential for the success of the program. Plan the examination process and timetable. A deadline should be set for portfolio submissions. 
student's failure to meet the deadline it is itself evidence of a lack of professionalism. Students' orientations. Students should be informed in writing about the portfolio assessment process and what is expected of them. Develop guidelines. If portfolios are used for summative pass fail decision, standards need to be specified so that there is no doubt about what constitutes a pass or fail. A decision needs to be made whether poor performance in relation to one, out to one outcome can be compensated by good or excellent performance. In another area or whether area are not compensatory, Dendi Medical School adopted the approach that a student cannot compensate for Defects in a key deficits in a key domain, attitudes or professionalism by good performance in other domain. Student must achieve the minimum expected standard in every domain. Thank you. Very much.